Okay. Um, I have uh, recorded uh, uh, two demos because uh, they uh, takes uh, they take too too long to uh, to, to to run. Uh, so I will show you uh, a recorded demo uh, about uh, the, the deployment uh, on the Indigo Pass of an Elastic Galaxy cluster. Uh, so uh, I will show you that uh, uh, the Galaxy, Galaxy portal is automatically deployed from uh, the Tosca template and configured to, to use a SLARM Elastic Cluster. Uh, we will see that uh, the worker nodes are added as soon as jobs are submitted through the portal. So let's start with uh, this uh, demo. Okay, here I'm show, uh, showing, uh, showing uh, the um, Tosca template uh, that uh, can be used uh, to, uh, to deploy the, uh, to deploy the, the Mesos cluster. Uh, you can uh, uh, follow um, the, the template uh, using uh, GitHub, Indigo DC, and searching for uh, Tosca templates. Here you can find uh, uh, the Tosca templates uh, that um, we, have, we are uh, delivering for the first uh, release of uh, Indigo. And uh, in the depo demo, I'm using uh, this one, uh, Galaxy Elastic Cluster.yaml. So the file is uh, Galaxy Elastic Cluster.yaml. Uh, you can see that uh, there are some input parameters that are uh, the maximum number of worker nodes in the Elastic Cluster, uh, the number of uh, CPUs. Oh. Um, uh, the, the, the amount of memory for the worker nodes and from, uh, for the front ends and so on. And then uh, there are the, uh, the nodes, uh, the specification of the nodes. The first one is uh, the elastic cluster front end. Uh, the, um, uh, the server where uh, the, um, the front end of the batch system will be uh, installed, the worker nodes uh, for the batch system and for uh, uh, Galaxy, and then uh, the output section where uh, the Galaxy URL, the cluster IP, and the cluster credentials are returned. I'm using here uh, a um, web uh, REST client uh, named Postman. Uh, it's a useful uh, uh, tool because you can uh, um, save um, your, uh, uh, your uh, requests. Uh, here uh, I am calling, uh, um, I'm, I'm doing a post request on the deployments endpoint of the orchestrator, specifying uh, the parameters and the template uh, that you have seen on uh, GitHub. <coughs> the response of the orchestrator contains uh, the UID of the deployment, and this UID can be used uh, to get uh, the details of the deployment using uh, uh, the, the endpoint deployments <coughs> of the orchestrator. <coughs> Here is uh, the, uh, the blob, the JSON, the, the JSON blob that is uh, returned by the orchestrator. One of the first uh, fields uh, is the status of the deployment that in this case is uh, in, uh, in progress. Now I am switching uh, on uh, the uh, dashboard of the uh, cloud, of the open cloud where uh, the orchestrator is uh, deploying uh, the Galaxy server. And I can see that uh, an Ubuntu server has just uh, started. 
after uh, more or less uh, uh, 20 minutes, uh, uh, the um, deployment is complete uh, and uh, um, calling the get uh, uh, endpoint, uh, the, um, you, you can uh, retrieve the, the Galaxy uh, URL. You can, uh, uh, here I, I, um, I see the same uh, IP that is uh, uh, returned by OpenStack. I can connect uh, to the Galaxy portal, portal using the URL um, provided by the orchestrator. Then I can uh, launch uh, a job. The portal uh, accepts uh, uh, the job that is uh, waiting uh, to run because uh, uh, there were no worker nodes. As soon as uh, the job is submitted, the Clues plugin um, requests to the orchestrator an update of the cluster. And in fact, going back to uh, the dashboard of OpenStack, I can see that a new node is spawned. And this will be the first um, worker node of the SLARM batch system where my job will run. Um, the, the, the orchestrator uh, returns also the credentials to access uh, the front end. In particular, it uh, returns uh, the SSH key. So using uh, uh, the, the provided uh, private key, uh, here I am uh, uh, I'm, uh, uh, replacing uh, uh, the uh, slash n, backslash n with the carriage return. I'm saving uh, in a file uh, the, the key, changing uh, the, uh, the, the permission. And here I am uh, login via SSH to the front end. Okay. As you can see, you can see uh, the, the host name is Slam Server because this is the front end of the batch system. Um, and is also uh, the, the, the front end of the Galaxy portal. In fact, uh, there is a, um, a folder in the Ubuntu Galaxy um, where uh, you can find all of the, uh, the files of the, the installation of the Galaxy uh, portal. Um, here uh, uh, you can see that after a while the, the worker node uh, is installed and the job is uh, correctly run. So it is passed from status uh, waiting for run to uh, executed. You can view uh, the, the data produced by uh, your job. Of course now you can launch another job uh, in the, uh, and in this case, uh, the job uh, will soon start because uh, the worker node is already available. In fact, in a uh, few seconds, it starts and runs because uh, uh, the worker node was already uh, uh, part of the batch cluster. Okay, and this, is what, this was the demo for, uh, uh, about the, the deployment of the Galaxy cluster. Um, in a similar way, I can sh show you uh, the deployment of a Mesos cluster. Okay, the starting point uh, is always uh, the Tosca template. This is in the same folder as uh, the previous one. Uh, the template defines uh, the nodes Mesos Masters, Mesos Slave, and uh, the load balancer uh, that will be the entry point uh, 
for all the services that will be deployed uh, on top of the, the Mesos cluster. As outputs of the template, in fact, uh, we have the uh, virtual uh, IP or the, Mesos, uh, or the, the load balancers and also the IPs of the Mesos masters. Here I'm using, uh, I'm uh, running a post request to the deployment uh, uh, endpoint of the, the orchestrator. In the body of the, uh, the request is a Tosca template. This is the, the same of uh, uh, the one, uh, uh, the same as uh, uh, the one present in GitHub. Um, as before, uh, uh, the, the, the orchestrator uh, returns the deployment uh, ID that I can use uh, to monitor the status uh, of the deployment. If uh, um, I go to, to uh, here, I, I go to the uh, OpenStack dashboard, uh, I can see that uh, um, the, the servers are being installed. Automatically installed. This is another interesting uh, uh, endpoint, uh, the endpoint uh, resources, uh, which uh, um, provides uh, the, the list and the details uh, of every node that is uh, being uh, uh, deployed by the orchestrator. After a while, more or less uh, uh, half an hour, the uh, installation is complete. Uh, the, out, uh, the outputs uh, are uh, returned uh, by the orchestrator. And uh, the, the most important one is uh, the load balancer IP. Um, we can connect uh, to one of the IPs of the master, uh, master nodes to see the dashboard of Mesos. Mesos is listening on the port 5050, and this is the web UI of, um, of Mesos. Here we can see that two Mesos leaves uh, have been already installed. There are uh, two active uh, frameworks uh, that are Marathon and Kronos uh, that have been automatically installed uh, uh, through the Tosca template. And now I can use uh, the Marathon uh, framework to deploy a uh, MySQL app, a MySQL This is uh, the JSON uh, definition uh, file uh, that uh, is accepted by, by Marathon. It is very similar to the Kronos job definition file that uh, I have uh, previously uh, showed. This is the response of Marathon. Um, and uh, here we can see that uh, um, the deployment, uh, uh, the deployment uh, has started. I can get details about uh, the, um, the application uh, that I have uh, just deployed using uh, a GET request uh, to 
the um, V2 ups uh, um, endpoint of marathon. Here I can see that there is uh, one task uh, staged. And uh, here um, there are some details about uh, uh, the, 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 the task, uh, in particular the, uh, the IP of the host uh, where the, the Docker container has started. Looking at uh, the, the, the Mesos uh, web UI, I can see the same uh, result. Now the, 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 the task is, uh, is running. In fact, if I refresh uh, the get request, I can see that uh, the task stage are zero and the task running are uh, one. Note that uh, the, uh, the, the Docker container is running on host uh, whose IP uh, ends with uh, 132, but uh, I can access the service using uh, the load balancer IP, the, the virtual IP of the cluster. So here I'm using a MySQL client to connect to the uh, DBMS using uh, the, the virtual IP of the cluster and the port that I have specified inside the JSON blob. So MySQL is uh, running, is up and running. Now I can uh, create uh, another application, uh, dockerized applica application, um, and, uh, mm, the a PHP MyAdmin, which is a, um, a web UI for uh, MySQL. Uh, here I, I can specify the virtual IP of uh, the cluster and uh, MySQL port. And uh, in the same way as uh, the MySQL application, also this, uh, this application will be run on the Mesos cluster. I can get details about uh, the application. The task uh, is being staged. Okay. Now, um, in this stage, uh, uh, Mesos is uh, uh, downloading the Docker image. And after a while, uh, the container is running. I can access also the uh, PHP MyAdmin uh, interface using the same virtual IP and the port that I had specified in the deployment request. I can log in. Okay. And uh, uh, the, uh, the, the web server uh, has been uh, correctly connected to the MySQL instance that I had previously deployed on Marathon. So this is a an example of, of how you can use, you can deploy and use uh, services uh, deployed on uh, Marathon.